Last night was the first day of E3 2021 which opened up with Ubisoft Forward and there were some interesting games that were showcased along with some game updates. Here are the 5 biggest announcements in Ubisoft Forward 2021. Rainbow Six Extraction This game is going to be a Left 4 Dead type game with Rainbow Six Siege operators where you will be fighting off these aliens. But unlike Left 4 Dead where you have to go from one checkpoint to the other, in Extraction, your mission is to get intel from these aliens' nests and then come back home. There are different tiers of aliens that will challenge you after each checkpoint. The final checkpoint is supposed to be the hardest and if your teammate is down, you can have a new mission of rescuing that teammate but if that teammate is not rescued, you won't be able to use that particular operator. There is also sprawl on the floor that slows you down if you walk over it but it can be cleared with a gun but it's literally almost everywhere so you need to take a look. In the trailer we saw Ash, Sledge, Lion, Ella and Vigil but there could be more. The game plays very similar to that of Rainbow Six Siege with similar gadgets, but there is room for upgrades. Number 2. Riders Republic This game is like having all extreme sports into one. It's a mass multiplayer co-op game which features a range of sports that you can play. There are bikes, wingsuits, skateboards, skis and much more. There's a snowboarding game mode called Tricks Battle which becomes a 6v6 game where your team needs to perform tricks on modules to make it turn from red to blue. When your team has turned all the modules to blue, you capture that district and you gain stars. But that's not the only mode, there is more, like the first person biking that you can do which looks extremely terrifying and more. You can even sight see if you want to, like do absolutely nothing and just stand and look at the beauty of the world. Whatever mode you play, you earn stars and the more you earn stars, the more places you can be in and you can be in more new competitions, new locations and progress forward. This is an ultimate fun and you can even register right now for beta access by going to the website. Link in the description. Number 3. Assassin's Creed Valhalla For the first time in history, Assassin's Creed Valhalla will get a full support in year 2, bringing new modes, challenges and from the looks of it, a brand new big expansion. Nothing was revealed other than showing a smoldering stone archway with runes engraved on them. Maybe we will be going to Muspelheim and the land of giants. Another cool expansion is Siege of Paris. This is going to be a paid DLC. This DLC follows the Viking incursion to France. These infiltration missions will give you an objective but won't tell you how to complete them. So you will need to find your own way to complete it, which is actually pretty awesome. But there is much more to the Siege of Paris that you can actually take a look around. There will be some free upgrades as well such as single-handed swords which was the top requested feature by the players. Later this fall, Valhalla players will get a free version of Discovery Tour that focuses on the real history of Viking settling and you will be playing as one of the NPCs in the game to see the history of Vikings. There's a lot more coming to Valhalla this year and it's all very promising. Number 4. Far Cry 6 Season Pass the Far Cry 6 Season Pass is going to be very interesting because it has a new DLC which will include all 3 villains from Far Cry 3, 4 and 5. So you will now be playing as these villains of Far Cry 3, 4 and 5. According to the Ubisoft in the DLC, we will delve into these iconic villains' twisted minds, uncover their backstories, battle their inner demons and reunite with familiar faces. Those faces that you once played as protagonist in these games. The season pass will be available in Far Cry 6 Gold and Ultimate Edition which sucks by the way but that's one way to earn more money from Ubisoft and of course that's what they're gonna do. Number 5. Avatar Frontiers of Pandora This is the biggest reveal of them all and it is a new Avatar game. The question is, will it be the highest sold game of all time like the movies being the highest grossing movie of all time? Well we will have to see but I don't think so that's gonna happen. We got an awesome cinematic trailer for the game which is basically going to be following the movie but it looks like it's going to be a bit different. The environment looks beautiful and it's just magnificent to look at but then again it's a cutscene and cinematic so they're always beautiful. The game is coming out sometime next year and maybe it will be releasing somewhere near the release of Avatar 2 movie which is being released apparently at December 16th. Massive Entertainment will be developing it who are the guys behind the Division games and according to Ubisoft it will be a first person action adventure game. So I'm hoping this will be an open world game and I'm looking forward to it because the cinematic trailer sold me. However, we don't know how the game is gonna play so we'll have to wait and see what this game actually will bring. 
Well, these are the biggest reveals from Ubisoft Forward and let us know in the comments below which one are you looking forward to the most. Tonight is going to be a big one, it is going to be Xbox and Bethesda Showcase, so get ready to see Halo Infinite trailer and much more which will be exciting as it starts at 10.30pm and you can watch it on YouTube live. Make sure to subscribe to Gamer Connect to know everything about E3 2021 and all the reveals that's going to happen in the next few days.